Hi boys and girls, welcome to your first day of online learning. I'm so excited to do this with you and we're all gonna learn together what this looks like and how we're gonna do this. So we're gonna start our day like we normally do at preschool and we're gonna start with some calendar time. So who can remember what month are we in? It starts with this letter, what letter is it? M, you're right. What sound does M make? M, M, M. We're in March. Good job, everybody. So if we remember next, we do the days of the week. Let's say them with me. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Good job. So yesterday was Sunday. So today is, m -m -m. it starts with that M, Monday. Good job, everybody. Now, let's count to see what day we are on. Let's count. Make sure you're counting with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and what comes next? 30, right. What two numbers make the number 30? What number is this? Three, right. And what number is this? Zero, right. A three and a zero together make 30. So today is Monday, March 30th, 2020. All right, now, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to practice grafting the weather. So this is something new. We haven't done this before. So this is gonna be exciting for you to do. I want you to grab a piece of paper and I want you to make one, two, three, four lines down your paper. Then in each section, I want you to make a sun, a cloud, a cloud with raindrops, and a cloud with snow. And what we're gonna do for the next few weeks is every day I want you to go to your window and I want you to look outside and I want you to see if it's sunny, cloudy, rainy, or snowing outside. Now, if it's sunny, I'm gonna put a little X underneath sunny or a heart or a smiley face or a triangle, whatever you wanna draw. And then each day I want you to look at this and see um, what the weather is and then mark it under the right, either the sun or the cloud. And then on Friday, we're gonna talk about this and see how many sunny days we got, how many cloudy days we got, how many rainy days we got, and how many snowy days. I really hope we don't get any snowy days though. And then we will add it all up and we will do some math with it. So I'm excited for you to try something new and this will be super fun for you to do. Next, we're gonna talk about the letter of the week. I'm gonna go ahead and take our calendar down here, put that down here, and we're gonna talk about our letter of the week. Boys and girls, what letter do you see here? X, you're right. X is our letter of the week. Now, what I want you to do is if you have a piece of paper and a pencil, go ahead and grab that right now or a crayon or a marker or something and go ahead and practice drawing X's. So we're going to start up here and we're gonna do a diagonal line down and then stop. And then we're gonna come back up here and do a diagonal line backwards and stop. That's pretty easy, it's just two lines. I know you can do it. So I want you to practice making X's all over your paper. Now, moms and dads, this is for you. If your child is having a tough time making those lines, go ahead and make some dash marks for them. 
like this. Then have your child just simply trace over your dash marks to form the letter X. So boys and girls, what words can you think of that either start with X or have X in them? I have a special book for you today that I wanna show you with some pictures. What do you see here that has the, the letter X in it? What's this a picture of? It's a fox. And this week we're learning all about animals. We have an animal that has an X in its name. What's a picture, what's this a picture of? The box. Hear that X sound at the end? That's the sound that X makes. What number is this? We all should know this. Six. Hear that sound at the end? Ooh, what's this one? Maybe your daddy or your mom have it and you help them sometimes. It's a tool box. I hear that X sound at the end. Down here, we have a mailbox. And lastly, does anybody know what this is? This is an X. So those are some of our words that have X in them. And I bet you can think of other ones. I want you to save them. So when we do circle time on Friday, I want you to come ready with your X word to share with everybody. I can't wait to hear what you have to say. And we're going to do our letter box that day too. All of you know what the letter box is. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. Now, looking ahead to this week, we've got a lot of fun crafts and activities planned for you to do. Your teachers are gonna read some stories to you each day. So here are the items that you need to find around your house. Now, if you don't have them, it's okay. Miss Kelly, myself, I'm gonna look and make some adjustments. So if say we need brown paint and you don't have brown paint, a brown marker will work or a brown crayon will work as well. So these are just some things for you to be looking for. We need some paper, some white paper. You need your markers and your crayons. Ask mommy or daddy for a paper plate or a styrofoam plate. And if you don't have one of those, you can cut a circle out of white paper and that will work just as well. Of course, you need your scissors if you're gonna be cutting some brown paint and some brown construction paper. You also need to find some glue and maybe some Q-tips if mommy and daddy have some Q-tips around. If not, you can just cut little pieces of white paper and that'll work for what we're doing as well. I'm super excited to see all that you make and all that you create. I know that you guys love art and I'm so sad that I can't be there to do it with you, but make sure you tell your mom and dad to either email me or text me or message me with what you're making so I can post them up on our Facebook page to share with everybody. Um, I truly miss you guys. I love you guys. I'm excited for what's ahead and what we're going to keep learning. Um, you know, God's in control and God loves you so much. That's what